What does 500 feet look like? Ripped into right field. Read this guy's lips. That's the furthest ball I've ever seen hit. The farthest he's ever seen hit. But if you were one of 4,300 at Plant Field on April 4th, 1919, at what is now UT, you would have seen Babe Ruth, his mammoth swing, and maybe the longest homer ever hit. They were just astonished by how far it went. A sign at UT says as much. Back in 1919, there was a racetrack near the Tampa Hotel with a ball field in the middle. When over the rail of the racetrack and just kept going. Here's how they measured Babe's blast. The right fielder showed reporters where it landed. Then the Boston Globe marched off 179 paces of slightly more than three feet. They called the homer a boost and said it was certainly more than 540 feet. Babe biographer Jane Levy points out estimates range from 540 to 625. And some said it landed just 508 feet, but rolled the rest of the way. Nobody had seen anything like this before. Babe Ruth was inventing and announcing power baseball with that swing. How far is 587 feet? Well, if you were to measure it from home plate here at Steinbrenner Field, it would have gone across, yes, across Dale Mabry Highway. It would have landed about here. His blasts were so big, they became symbolic of America itself. He basically invented what it was to be a modern celebrity. He was the epitome of Roaring Twenties excess. He was America when America had all its clout and all its might. The Babes Homer is the perfect mix of history and hype. Home run cataloger Bill Jenkinson suggests the Homer was only 552 feet, which is quoted in other articles of the day. And scientists say even that is titanic. Here is Illinois professor Alan Nathan. The physics of a ball bat collision. He says under optimal conditions, but without wind, the farthest a major league homer can go is just under 500 feet, which requires the ball to be hit at 120 miles an hour. 587 feet would require it hit at 140 miles an hour, way beyond the measurements of today. Given a dispute between science and, myth and mythology, I will take the science. But there are a few buts that nurse the myth. One is Babe's bat. Today's hitters use 34 ounces. The Babe was known for using a 50 ouncer. He had a very, very modern sense of biomechanics. He understood the principles of leverage and torque. Plus the wind. Department of Interior records show an average wind of 17 miles an hour at around the time Babe hit that blast. Jenkinson believes it was likely in a direction that have helped the distance. The plaque was put up at UT in 1981, setting in stone a homer whose myth was growing from the moment it landed. Whether this is the longest home run he ever hit is not the important part. What's important is that he hit a monster home run, that he did it here in Tampa, and that this is part of our history. Awesome. No matter how you measure, with lasers or footsteps or hyperbole, you can still see every inch. When you can pinpoint it, then there's no room for imagination, for closing your eyes and trying to put yourself at that racetrack on April 4th. 1919. The myth of the Babe's Tampa bomb is now in its second century. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.